Oh, Susan had this radical idea yesterday. She said, you know, maybe we should talk about retreat a little bit, uh, you know, about the importance of retreat in practice. And we don't really know how many of you do retreats as well. Yeah. But we wanted to give a shout out and say a few things about uh, retreats and um, what they can mean for all of us, especially at a time like this, you know, we're also aware that it's been difficult to do an in-person retreat for most of us for the last two years yeah with covid and uh, there's the miracle of zoom which we certainly appreciate at 10 30 on eastern time uh, every day um the power of zoom um the accessibility of zoom and i, I think we're all also going to always continue to do some online retreats people can't make it you know, you can't always make it in person <clears throat> to a retreat, but they're so important. And we want to say a few things about that, uh, how we understand it. Um, and first of all, uh, the most important thing <laughs> in terms of a sense of commitment and the statements we make to ourselves is establishing a daily practice. And some of you have let us know that this, that this um, and it's brought us great <laughs> delight to know that this daily sit has provided the opportunity for some of you to become more regular with your daily practice than you, than you might have been otherwise. Yeah, it so can be so helpful to sit with the group. Uh, and we're really happy about that. We're really happy about that because our experience is it's not that much different than an, um, playing an instrument. You know, if you only pick it up once a week for 20 minutes, well, that's good. But you, <laughs> the, uh, the forward movement in terms of learning the instrument and playing some music is going to be very, very gradual, hardly noticeable, I think. But if you pick it up 20 minutes a day, a half hour a day, something starts to happen. And it's, it's very similar, very similar with meditation. And uh, yeah, and there's a limit to daily practice, to where da daily practice can take us. Uh, and it's, it's delicate to say this because not everyone has the opportunity to do it retreats for sure. But the beauty of daily practice, uh, there are many beauties to daily practice it can help us to continue to cut through the accumulation of stress <clears throat> that we can accumulate day by day by day by day by day if we don't practice, it's my experience. The hard part about daily practice is it can, it, it can feel like, it can feel like just, just uh, well, I, I do like the metaphor of bailing the boat. <clears throat> it's like we keep taking on water, we keep taking on, we do. We keep taking on water. We keep taking on stress. And sometimes daily practice is just like, let me take care of not accumulating any more stress. Let me keep bailing. Let me keep bailing so I can stay closer to center, closer to balance, closer to kindness, closer to gratitude and during my day. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. But that can also be very discouraging at times without a retreat, yeah? Is that all this life is, is bailing the boat? Is it, you know, is that what this practice is? Just kind of just barely managing my stress and every day being confronted again, again, with the ruminative, obsessive mind, with the intrusive thoughts, with the intense energies that move through us. Yeah. And the thing about a retreat is it can lead to a, a deeper kind of settling. Yeah. A deeper kind of opening. We always think of the first day, a couple of days of retreat as thawing out days, you know, but that it can start to lead to something a little bit more subtle, a, a deeper level of acceptance, a different level of holding, holding environment, you know, for ourselves, hopefully in a holding environment with other people, you know, and teachers who can help to create that, that safe and trusting space for us to drop in. Um, 
And it can lead to what, what, a, what is called, I, I love the expression, verified faith about what these practices is. <clears throat> I don't necessarily get a lot of verified faith in daily practice and just, I do it. And it does help. It does help to keep bailing it out, you know, to keep, keep it, keep it, clear it out, keep clearing it out, keep clearing the decks, you know. But in retreat practice, there's that sense of, oh, 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 this is what's possible. It is possible to begin to, to hold more, to accept more, to release more, to soften more to whisper kinder things into my ear more. Yeah? And just touching in to those spaces from time to time in a retreat, even a three or four day retreat, don't have to be long, but just getting yourself there and touching into those spaces can be so um, uh, uplifting and then can also affect our daily practice moving forward encourage our daily practice moving forward, yeah. Mm. I also have noticed in my own experience that the stronger my daily practice is and the more regular, the better the next retreat is gonna be, you know? And for some of you, I wanna say, you know, you've been pretty committed to your daily practice, maybe even stronger than some other times. With real, now that retreat centers are gonna to start to open up, including, you know, Barry Center for Buddhist Studies, right? We want to encourage all you, uh, to your degree, uh, to, to drop into a retreat if you can, even if it's if it's a short one. If not, an online retreat. But um, <clears throat> we want to encourage you uh, to go deeper. We're gonna we encourage ourselves to go deeper every once in a while. Obviously, that's what next year is about for us. Yeah, um, but um, we want to keep encouraging you too, to stay with your daily practice, but also to um, uh, drop into a retreat from time to time if you can do that and uh, I, I know for us uh, it was always important um, all the way through even during our really busy times to try and make time for us to, uh, twice a year about every six months about every six months we would do our year at a glance and go okay, I'm a, <laughs> yeah okay but where's the retreat in this in, in, where's the retreat where are we making time for the retreat what and, and for us, twice a year, even if they weren't long, they're super helpful to keep our deeper verified faith going too about the possibility of these practices, you know, because slow students though we may be, <laughs> uh, if we do create the space, you know, that's what the Buddha said. This is not for special people with special talents. Right. We can all do this. It was one of his great messages. You don't have to be in a higher case. You don't have to be have a special previous lifetime. No, 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 no. We, you don't have to be a particular gender. You know, we can all do this, but we do need to create some time, set aside time, you know, and, uh, and, and it can be done. You know, I love when he says, you know, listen, if, it, if I didn't think you could do it, I wouldn't say it could be done. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And, and so we just want to keep also encourage you, encouraging you in that way. And it's really the first time we've mentioned retreat, I think, in the two years since we've been doing daily sit in that context. Mm -hmm. But we want to support you in that way uh, as well, to your, to your degree. You know? you know, I know this may be preaching to the choir to some of you who understand uh, I've done some retreats. Maybe it's a little newer to some mm -hmm. of you. Uh, wherever you are, to your degree. Uh, mm -hmm. The world needs us to all keep going <clears throat> deeper. <laughs> yeah, you know, the world on fire, and um, it takes more, more and more practice to keep our own hearts yeah. balanced and cool enough in the hot fires of the world. <clears throat> it gets more challenging to keep loving locally with everything burning up in so many places around mm -hmm. us. And um, <clears throat> so mm -hmm. we're all in this together. We're all swimming in the uh, swimming in the same aquarium, as we like to say, you know, and uh, doing the best we can, you know, uh, <clears throat> with our practice. And uh, so, obviously, we want to keep keep encouraging you here in the daily sit, and keep encouraging you to your degree uh, to do a, a little retreat here and there, wherever you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat>